Good evening everybody and oh, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about cross-account, cross-region SNS SQS subscription. A little background why this video. It's fairly common in companies that, you know, big companies or medium-sized companies who are using AWS, they have control tower, which means each project would have its own separate AWS account. Now, this also becomes, uh, again, there are benefits to do that, right? Uh, isolation, you know, better monitoring cost for a particular project, etc. But it also becomes tricky while subscribing to um, cross-account events and cross-account topics, right, if you want to subscribe. So in this video, uh, let me take you a very uh, simple use case and show you how to essentially do a cross-account subscription or cross-region subscription. So basically, let's say you in your, again, example, let's say in your company, you have a team who works with the payment services, right? And then you have um, your data team who wants to subscribe to the data. Data team has its own AWS account. Payment team has its own AWS account. They said to the data team, hey, we're going to publish the events. You can subscribe and do whatever you want after that. So now, how do we subscribe to cross account, right? Let's take a look at that. So allow me to share my screen. Uh, one sec. All right. Uh, hopefully you guys see my screen. And uh, again, I'm, I'm showing you cross, uh, um, uh, uh, again, cross region. But again, the cross account is also same. You just have to change the account number and I'm going to show you. Here is the SNS. Again, observe, this is a uh, North Virginia, US East one. So what I'm going to do is basically uh, here we are going to create a queue first and assume this is that payment team that we were talking about, right? And then I'm going to click on create topic. Again, they will usually use infrastructure code to, you know, spin this up. And again, I have serverless, um, uh, I have videos on how to like spin, spin all these up, okay? So that's that, right? Now coming to the SQS, this is your data team, right? Who are, who basically wants to, let's say, bring this data into the data lake, right? So now uh, they're going to add their queue. So we're going to say, they're going to say payment consumer and observe this is in US West to Oregon. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do, do everything as standard and basically click on create um, queue. So you have your payment uh, uh, consumer, which is in uh, Oregon and you have a topic, uh, a payment topic, which is in North Virginia. Now the goal is to subscribe uh, cross uh, region here, right? So what you need to do is you need to click on the topic, click on the access policy and then click on edit over here. Okay. Then scroll down where you see access policy. Now what you want to do is I have a small template that I took from the blog post. Uh, so I'm going to show you. So you got to do this. You got to add effect as allow. And here you will put the account uh, where your SNS topic or, or sorry, this one will be the account where your SQS queue is right that you want to subscribe. So again, in my case, they both are in the same account, but different region. So my account will be the same action SNS, SNS subscribe. And here you're going to put your um, basically your on for your SNS. So in my case, if I go to my payment, which is in North Virginia, I'll copy this. I will put this one over here and make sure I get rid of the uh, white spaces, then copy this. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll click on edit. I head over to the access. I dump everything here. And then at the end, I click on save changes. That's it. So um, again, that's done. So this means the payment team has made a topic uh, which your data team um, consumer can subscribe to the uh, to the topic now, right? So now again, that's the payment, right? Now I go to the SQS again. This is a in uh, US West too. It's a different region. So now I can go to SNS subscription and I can click on create. Uh, sorry, uh, subscribe to Amazon S SNS, right? Um, over here, I'm gonna say on. And then uh, again, your your uh, payment teams, they're going to publish to an SNS, they're going to give you this on, right? So you're going to put the on, click on save. Now again, this is ready. Uh, we have zero messages. Now we're going to publish. Now let's say, you know, certain payments were made and, you know, uh, messages or events are being broadcasted to this topic, right? So we'll say, uh, I'm just making up, okay, but publish, right? So basically that's done, right? So basically uh, an event was published at this point, right? 
So if I go to the SQS and if I now refresh, there you go, one message. So if I come here and if I do send and receive and click on poll for messages, uh, so here I would see that particular message coming in. Uh, it's a little hard to see. I'll try to see if I can expand this. Again, subject, right? We got the subject and this is the message basically, right? Makes sense. So again, when working, um, again, it's pretty fairly common, right? You know, uh, cross account, cross region, uh, when uh, you're working in teams, right? Uh, certain teams will publish the events to their SNS or event bridge topic. Your subscribers might be in a different region. It's very, very common to have this. I hope this video helps you and show you how to do a cross region or cross account um, SNS to SQS subscription. If you like the video, do give a like on the video. And if you have any further question, list your question in the comments and we'll try our best to answer that. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.